Good morning and welcome to Joy News Interactive. It's Thursday already and 38 days left until the end of the year. Oh, how time flies. Make sure you make the last days of 2017 count. One of the ways you could do this is by joining us on DSTV Channel 421 and Go TV Channel 144. You can also make your opinion count by commenting, tweeting, sharing on Facebook and Twitter. We are Joy News on TV. Let's start with an issue that seems to bother most people. It's the migration dilemma. Most people want greener pastures and thus leave the country. And as you know, not everyone has the means to go the legitimate way. So some stow away and end up dying. So President Akuf Ado says he will reverse the trend of illegal migration from Ghana by building a sound economy with opportunities for all. He says the trend is increasingly becoming a national security concern and has to end. So we're going to go to Facebook and ask you what you thought about this. Our first comment we're taking is Ramsey Jr. and says it's a nice move if we're able to tackle the situation because most of our youth dies painfully on the desert trying to cross into Libya. Let's nourish our economy and create jobs. Um, the next one's from Good, Good Nose Billy and he says, I like the vim of the president, but I think his promises are becoming too much and we're slowly getting tired of it. Let's, uh, let's action, let's do the talk for a while. Okay, and Andrew says, what is all this? What economics against can't make uh, a kufu ado? And Kali Masha says, oh, na ado dankwa, I beg you are no more presidential candidate, but rather the president of the country. Stop the promises and start taking actions and solving unemployment issues in the country. Allah help you achieve your objectives. Let's see if we can take more comments on the migration dilemma. David Ardu says, increasing threats to national security. Okay, doesn't he know how we, are colonized? we were colonized? We want to get back all our resources they stole from us. We'll continue to cross till the end of the world. And Gertrude Ardu says, oh please. First you said Accra was going to be the cleanest city in Af Africa, but now you know it's the dirtiest city? I beg, let not all of us migrate, please. We beg you and Baumea Messiah. And Chris Tornado says, walk the talk, Mr. President, but first of all, please try to tackle the current Libya atrocities in Libya. So, so dehumanizing stories coming from the North African country. And Colin Diebo says, Masa, you and I say no, they sweet Ghanaians. Okay. Abdul Basit says, Well thought, Mr. President. May you continue to live long. And Akin all says, We need action, not talking every day, but do nothing. And BGF Decoded says, All the time promising, but nothing. Let's see if we can take more comments on the migration dilemma. No more love says, Nana Ado, they talk too much. Abdul Morgan says, I wish him all the best. The founder and leader of House of Miracle Ministries Worldwide, Prophet Samson Amoteng, has disclosed that he would love to feature dance artists Ebony and a church program. According to the man of God, he has heard a lot about in Ebony, but is yet to meet her in person. What do you think about this? Considering she's gotten a lot of backlash from a lot of people, the poison hit maker believes God is the one behind her success in the music industry. Ebony for some time now has been under pressure from Ghanaians, so we are asking, are we overly judgmental about musicians who sing secular songs? Let's take a video from her. Depending on the context, if you listen to the song, is the context and the content of the song that's going to let you know which one exactly I'm talking about. Hmm. This uh, for hustle, uh, yeah, for hustle, for for instance, um, it's 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 a market song, it's a selling song, it's whatever song. Intimikase mundi mija. It's not, even if it meant something else, you know what I'm trying to talk about because I'm talking about hustle. Why, 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 don't you, why don't you decide to play safe? Man, I'm playing safe. 
life. It's music. Music is art. Do you get it? It's mm. not because of uh, an ambiguous word or phrase that I'm not going to make the music God has put in me to make. Mm. Now, let's yeah. dwell on the second part of the conversation where we talk yeah. about your your way of appear and, uh, my, appearing my in provocative. your provocative dressing nature. It's yeah. constant. Even today, I'm sure a lot of people have raised eyebrows at the way you're looking. <laughs> but I'm not showing anything. You're showing your tummy and you and have my about back. three piercings on, two piercings <laughs> on, on, on your tummy. And yeah. I'm sure people have raised eyebrows. Mm, I get that all the time. I've been getting that... Uh, uh, I, I, went, I went to school with Noela. She knows me very well. I've been criticized since I was growing up. So, so we can't be bothered? Been, no, I've never been bothered, ever, ever, ever. So we've had artists like Ms. Well come back to tell us that their managers didn't lead them well. This is the path you're leading and the people are talking about it. Are we expecting in a few years you come and tell us that you are that young because you're still in your early 20s? Are you 20 now? I'm 20. I'm just 20. Just 20. Just 20. Yeah. yeah. And so you say that, okay, Bullets led you on the wrong path. No, no. Like, Bullets, honestly, like you need someone from my past to actually tell you the kind of person I am. This is nothing to get. That's just how Bullet Bullet tries to tone it down. Sometimes there's some outfits I don't know where to a show. Bullet's like Bonnie Day, Begana is not ready for this yet. Hmm. It's crazy. Like Bullet is on who tried. My management cannot if it's work, like he knows the music industry more than I do, but Bullet is not he can't push me to do something I don't want to do. Hmm. What did I say? He, he's the one even trying to tone it down. So now, but he ain't me yet. Say answer. We can't do this here. I can't do that. Yet. How long do you intend to be like this? To be, to be Ebony. To dress like this, to show up almost naked, to I, wear things that will raise our brows and all for that. As long as I want. You for think that Ghanaians will I continue get, to embrace you? They, they will get used to me. Do you get it? I don't. They will get used. That's the whole point of being a trendsetter. So are we overly judgmental about musicians who sing circular songs? I mean, they're hit makers, but let's see what you're saying on Facebook. Marie Nice says, who cares if you're bothered? Someone is not telling you that you're fooling. This isn't style. Maybe you need a stylist to change your wardrobe because what you're wearing is just complete pieces of rags and not clothes. Nana Borti Borstal says, money, the root of all evil. Showing your nakedness at your age, then when you're grown old, what will you tell your kids if, you come, if they come across your naked pictures? All right, T. Kwase says, her style of dressing was not decent at all. As you are in Africa, while well, Ghana, you should know how to dress like African ladies and not this half naked. But who said African ladies should dress? Okay, let's see. Ralph Asin says, y'all saying she's blah, 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 blah. Okay, but you... S <laughs> We're going to skip that comment. Uh, Mag Baker says, trash, one day you will regret showing your nakedness all in the name of fame. No wonder some pastors are in good support of what you're doing. Uh, nonsense. All right. Jay Sterling says, you have a point. You can't be bothered when you even have when you even have pastors defending you. I share in your view, dear. King P says it's her choice. Let her do what she feels is right. Her money, so she also got right to do so. Don't judge. I also agree with peace that she should do what she feels is right. She's making music, she's making people happy, and that's it. Uh, Stephen Governor says she's smoking. Her she's smoking a lot and the girl is a shame to all of us. Uh, let's see what Prosper Anthony says. Which set of Ghanaians will get used to this? Your expiring dates catch already. Frederick Epps says, so you figure, say going nude and displaying your private parts to public will make Ghanaians love you? If you like displaying your private parts, well, you go fade like you never existed. Bring out 100 good songs, still, then we're going to listen. Halsen Mohammed says, obviously, if you were bothered, you wouldn't do it in the first place. Let's see what Nana Otabal says. I think this girl needs counseling. She's totally disgraced to Ghana. Michael Tegu says, I don't think Madame Host, you would love your daughter to watch her or even be her mentor. So we're going to take a quick breather. I'll be with you in just a second. <laughs> 